Is this it? Is this the end? I don't know. That's the that's always the funny thing, I guess, is that you guys know better than me, because when an episode's called finale, it's called finale. Oh. I don't know in the finale that I'm in the finale. I mean, sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. Can I huh, long jump? Haha, <laughs> no waterfall for me. I'm too cool for that shit. Alright, so we've saved. Fully healed. Ow. Never mind. I've got my relics. So now what comes next? Load for me. What's our completionism like, by the way? 85% logbook entries, 72% items. Huh. So I'm, definitely, I'm definitely missing stuff. The issue is I just have no idea where to look for that stuff. Like, I, <laughs> I've poured up and down the map a few times looking for these relics and whatnot, but I just don't really know where to find what's left. Necessarily. Cutscene. Okay, you just kind of show up, huh? Haha, I've got pillars to hide behind. Hey, Ridley. Uh oh. Eh, scan for me. Meta Ridley. Genetically enhanced Ridley Metaform. Reborn and evolved through pirate technology, Meta Ridley is a fearsome enforcer. Its armored hide is extremely resilient, save for the chest, which has thinner plating. The pirates have fused a number of potent weapons to the creature, including a multi-missile system, a kinetic breath weapon, a mason bomb launcher, and an ultra-thermal flame strike projector. Meta Ridley is also a formidable melee combatant, making any sort of engagement a risky proposition. Uh oh. Oh, here comes the melee engagement. Yeah, all, all I've learned is that it's you can attack its chest at, at most. Oh, I guess we're not doing that attack. All right, so I have not been told any kind of weakness. Like, they didn't t say, let, use this element to attack it, and they didn't say really anything. Just hit its chest, which is where I lock onto anyway. We're going to try our best. Wow, you're far away. Oh, doing a bombardment. Every time it kind of stops moving, I'm just going to fire. It's basically the strat at the moment. Yep. Nope. 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 Come on, Ridley. Let's go back to fighting now. Come on. Let's go back to fighting, buddy. How you feeling, Ridley? I haven't lost a single thing of health yet, but you have. You've lost all sorts of health. Have any other strategies to throw at me besides 
make me wait 30 seconds for the fight to start again because that's uh, you seem to like that strategy and i'm I'd like to wean you from that if i can <gasps> okay you're almost halfway dead already the guy in the cave was harder than you so far No, come back. Come on. This could be over in like two minutes if you didn't fly around so much. I'm glad you found a way to work your commute into this boss fight, Ridley. Ow. Dang. Come back here. Come on. I didn't realize dinosaurs were cowards. He already had to wait for him to finish that animation, but he was just that was just him transitioning back into this again. All right, well he's at twenty five percent health. That's decent chunk. We'll be there soon. You're destroying all of the things. Kind of a bummer, honestly. I just spent hours trying to make them all happy, and you're sitting here blowing them all up. Scene. Oh, he hangry. Oh, yeah, he's in that mechanical neck. It's really funny. Ah, the only weak spot is the neck. I mean, is the chest. I know how to hit the chest. Or not? Why isn't this working? What? What? Come on, there's been so many boss fights where people retroactively are like, you're supposed to bomb them from underneath. And this time it doesn't work. Alright. Alright, that's... Ah. Super missile type things are too awkward to use. No, not that one. Did that do something? There we go, that did something. I kind of wish you could hold down and A at the same time. And then it would just fire when it was ready. Because it doesn't seem to work that way. It seems you have to keep mashing down on the D-pad while you're holding A the whole time. In order to find when it finally will fire. God damn it. Why can't I get it to fire in time? This is a, my my thumb hurts from trying to hold A while while pressing down on the D-pad. It actually is starting to physically cause pain because that's just a, not a good button combo to have to press. Why is it? Why is that the controls? Just trying to cause damage. Why isn't it working anymore? Like this worked for a bit, and now it's stopping. All right, uh, weapon change. My hand hurts too much to do that one anymore. Back to this one. It's got to work eventually, right? I don't know why this guy was so easy for 90% of his health bar and now he's undamageable, seemingly. There we go.
You should have done this the whole time, Ridley. You would have won. You are incredibly annoying to fight right now. I straight up can't damage you anymore. Fuck you. I'm just gonna go, yeah, I'll just spam, I guess. Spamming seems, in a lot of these boss fights, spamming seems to be for some reason more effective than your super attack. That's supposed to be like 25 times as strong or something. Because you can't get it to make, it won't register as being damaging for so long. That's just spamming seems to be more effective. I'm still mad though the game won't register my fucking super bomb from below as being damaged to his chest. So like, I tried to outsmart the fight and I can't because nonsense. There we go. I can stop hurting my hand. Ghosts! Love me ghosts, I can't see them. Impact Crater. Check out them rocks. What is that? Oh, it's a save point. It looked spooky. Yes, I would like to save. How did you know? Were you reading my diary? place simultaneously has radiation oh. radiation and heat to verify that you needed both suits to get here are you you must be new right yeah vision metroid metroid with the ability to split into two forms the vision metroid is a mutant capable of splitting in two this split endows the new creatures with invulnerability to most weaponry this effect is unstable, resulting in weakness to a type of weapon fire. The vulnerability appears to be random due to the chaotic nature of the phase on mutation. So that's why the old rules are out the window, is because I'm supposed to hit them with like a random attack, basically. Oh, but they're still color coded. Ah. All right, this seems glitched out. Are, are, are you okay, Met Metroid Prime? Are we, are we are we okay, like in general? Ah. So yeah, shoot them with the color that they are. Same thing as the other guys. These are like giant teeth, aren't they? It's gross. I've grown disinterested in fighting the Metroid. By some measures, I never was interested. Combat in, this, in these games is not really my thing. Ah! Bye bye. Missile room, I guess. Is this? Does that mean this is a dead end?
Looks like there must be a thing to like the right up there. Okay, okay, go away. Uh. I don't know, I, I fight these I find these guys incredibly tedious to fight. <laughs> Part of me finds myself wishing for, like, a Metroid that controls, like, Doom or Overwatch during combat. Where it's, like, intensive and mobile and crazy and wacky and, like, it just has a lot more going on. But it's a lot of, like, really slow- No! I didn't want to fight you because it's taking so long. But now I'm at the bottom and get fuck it. All right, I'll slowly stand here and fight you guys for a century. There's so many of you, and you take so long to kill. I'm so bored with you guys already. You're just not. This is not interesting shooter gameplay, but it's also not shoot not interesting Metroidvania or puzzle gameplay. I'm not solving anything. I know the answer. It's just the execution takes an eternity. They're like aggressively unfun enemies. Are you fucking spawning more over there? Oh no. I think I think more of them just spawned. Go away. <laughs> just go away. I can't scan that, which means I probably can't just fucking okay. I can't even do the smart thing. Like, they're gonna fuck up my platforming all the time, aren't they? But I can't kill them, because they just respawn. Like, what the fuck? Am I missing something? Because it seems like they're just gonna spawn infinitely out of that lava. But at any point, they can latch onto me and send me falling all the way back to the beginning of this giant-ass, boring platforming segment. And, like, none of this is acting to the strengths of Metroidvania, because... I'm not, like, getting new powers and backtracking to figure out the new thing I can do. I'm just dealing with a tedious, linear platforming sequence while enemies that don't die permanently keep respawning to knock me off! <sighs> Swear to fucking god! Here we are again! Cool, I'll start over again. Motherfucker. Oh, I'm done as shit right now. Can I just get to the boss fight, please? Can we just end this? I don't want to be in this room. This room's horrible. Go fuck yourself. Why do they respawn? I don't care about like the lore reason. Why would a developer want them to respawn? Like, what madman would think that that's fun? Infinitely respawning enemies that knock you off the platforms in the platforming room? Or if you've ever messed up, you start the whole process over again? Miserable. Oh, shit, 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 shit. We're good, we're good, we're good. Is that a face? Uh oh. Ah. Probably fine, you're probably fine. Oh god. Oh god. What? Um the combat music didn't stop. Is he coming back? <laughs> 
Hello? Oh. I guess not. Metroid Prime? Highly evolved. Phase on producing life form. This aberration known as Metroid Prime is the source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable. Other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include ultra-frigid breath, multi-missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed carapace make it lethal in melee combat. Recommend maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. Well, I guess now we know why it's called Metroid Prime. There's... The final boss is called Metroid Prime. It's not just a throwaway word. It still kind of is, I guess, maybe. I don't know. But it's like the super ultra mega Metroid we gotta fight. That's why this area is full of Metroids. It's also, so like, this is the meteor that struck this planet and sickened it. It was a, the, it was the Metroid Prime. So I guess they could make, if there's a trilogy of these games, each game could be another one of these, I suppose. Alright, that's not hurting him. Will that hurt you? Okay, you're vulnerable to this right now. It only seems to take, once again, it seems to pretty, pretty much only take sh damage from the spam shots. The charge shots just get deflected or miss because they have travel time and he's moving all the time or something, maybe. I don't know. Man, jumping, ba jumping down here seems like it was a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, can I scan these or something? No. The game name drops what all the enemies' attacks are, but they don't tell you what any of them mean. Okay, you can shoot them. That came back at me. Uh, ah. I'm trying to dodge it, but it's not working. God damn it. 
I'm gonna be hammering this A button for like 10 minutes straight <laughs> and after a boss fight where I already did that it's gonna I'm gonna be in pain this kind of game is why people have RSIs <laughs> Another phase change. Samus is dedicated. Uh, that, that looks icy. Nope. 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 What the fuck do I do about that? Be phase changed or so What do you mean you're out of range? I scan stuff in that range all the time. Nah, it's nothing new. What does the thing mean? What's, what was happening there? No, 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 no. Stop it! How do I do- well, what do I do? How do I stop him? Fucking stop! What would I- I have- what would I- what would I do to stop a tractor beam? That's never been a thing before. I have no idea what the- what I'm supposed to do there. But fighting it seems to make it take longer and do even more damage, so maybe I'm supposed to run into- I don't know. Okay, fuck it. Take me, bro! Alright, I'm out. Ow. That probably wasn't the best strategy. I don't know, it was less tedious. I'll take it. This is the... the oh, this is an obscenely tanky enemy. Really? That still hit me in the air. Sorry, I'm not really I'm not really talking about much am I? It's just it's just a very, very long bullet sponge boss fight where you just switch to the element that they say to be and shoot them over and over again. That's It's the final boss fight. A game about like puzzle bosses and like Metroidvania mechanics. It ends in a fight where you just Simon says through the four elements. Like, he, Metroid Prime is just the color of this or that element, and you hit him with that attack. And that's it. Right. God damn it. I, I, was, I spent that entire time trying to make the stupid fire thing the beam happen, but holding A and pressing down is really uncomfortable and hard. 
and you have to and you, you can only work after a certain threshold that's uncertain so like i've never gotten the feel for it why is his weakness the same element he's using that's weird Are you not taking damage anymore? What's going on here, man? I think we got him. Hello. So you're the real Metroid Prime, I take it? Because you look like something vaguely mother brainy, right? Metroid Prime. The core essence of Metroid Prime. Scans indicate the phase on energy form of Metroid Prime is vulnerable to all conventional weapons. Only attacks from a phase on fused arm cannon will damage it which is all my attacks <laughs> it generates pools of phase on when it attacks use these to fuel your suit's phase and weapon system the entity can also spawn metroids to assist it in battle rendering itself invisible while it does so ah so i need to damage it by standing in a phase on pool ultra energy replenishes 100 units of energy thank you Hyper mode. Am I, would I do damage? There's, there's the health bar. Okay, so I can't, I can't damage you like that. I can only damage it while I'm in hyper mode. So there has to be a pool. Oh, it's invisible. Uh, what about this phase on energy? Are you- did you heal just now? Where is it? Where the f- Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck are you? 
Can I see you in this one? Wait, did the pool go away? Now there's one over here. What the fuck's going on? What? Why do I have some... Is it... Is it glitching out? I can't see it. I'm using my detect things modes and I can't see it. What? Fuck you. What what happened to me? What? Motherfucker. <laughs> Hyper mode vanished right when I tried to use it. There you are. It's only visible in one spe in one view mode at once, which is weird. Is it like, because like, what is it doing to make that even possible? It has to be like fundamentally changing, like its entire morphology and everything. Like what? It kind of contradicts what these modes are supposed to mean. Just no, just fucking kill the metro. God damn it. I don't understand how to use my hyper mode. It only sometimes seems to work. And I can't tell what makes it work sometimes and not other times. Uh, go away. Where to uh. Fuck you. Okay. Oh, there's still one of these guys. Go away. There we go. I'm not sure how hyper mode works. Sometimes I'm in the puddle and pressing A and just it doesn't do it. And I can't tell why. That was a mistake. Why is that attack missing? I'm locked onto you. I got a pretty big case of the I get it's right about now. Like, I get it. Just kind of waiting it out now. Oh, these guys. All right. 
No, I need to be in ice. I need to be in normal mode. Uh, <laughs> go away. No, it ran out. <sighs> spend most of each... F this, is, this is the same problem I had with the other boss fight where I spend half the phase trying to deal with the adds that were summoned. Can I just ignore you? Can I get away with that? I can't see anything right now. Holy shit. Oh. Where are you? Please die, 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 die. We're not there yet? Alright. Nope, not that one. At some point I started thinking ice was on the right, and I don't know why. Is that healing? I don't know what that was. Uh -huh. That's the trick. That's the secret, apparently. Apparently, you can just destroy them all with the thing. Apparently, all the ads are vulnerable to hyper mode, making them pointless. That's weird. Dedicated to Mark High Hutchinson. There we go. A really abrupt ending. But she, uh, she took her hat, her helmet off. I guess she has a ponytail. Doesn't it looks pretty different from the Zero Suit Samus. Uh, hmm. I enjoyed most of my time with this game, despite having to fight all the different technical issues that came up. Not only just leading up to me trying to get the series started, but also surrounding... Just get keeping it going. Uh, the Wii controls are unfortunate. But overall, like, just kind of, just poking around this world, picking up powers and doing the Metroidvania thing, like, that's always fun. The combat, I think, was signif by a significant margin the weakest element of the game. So when the game ends with you having to fight boss fights non-stop for like an hour that's just kind of not great <laughs> especially since they're not particularly interesting boss fights it's just spammy like damage sponges somebody made the strange argument that that like it's okay that metroid is slow and awkward and clunky and so on because it's not a first person shooter it's a first person adventure like it's a point and click adventure game and it's like no that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. You definitely are doing full-on boss fights that would benefit from the game 
controlling better like a shooter and so on. I can't really imagine... I mean, I can kind of imagine, but like it was probably really rough playing it also when it was stuck with one joystick controls, like Goldeneye or something. I don't know about that. That sounds brutal, too, in a different way. Uh, it's like, it's, it's a game that expects you to be able to keep moving and moving and moving while aiming well, while changing powers and visors on the fly. So to their credit, they designed the final boss fight around that. You have to use all of your guns and all of your visors, or at least all your visors. You probably don't really need to use all your guns, because apparently hyper mode kills all the ads, so it doesn't really matter. Well, it, it, Metroid Prime is two boss fights. One boss fight, you have to use every gun, and the other boss fight, you have to use every visor. So I guess that's the idea. It's just that switching visors and guns over and over again in a fight isn't particularly interesting. Like, I've already... Cri I also criticize sometimes how, like, in the 3D Zelda games, especially the first couple... It can be really confusing and arbitrary how you damage the boss. Because, like, it's sometimes it's just like, Alright, try this attack, try this attack, try this attack, try this attack, try this attack. Okay, how about that item? The other item? How about fire magic? You just keep trying everything until something finally works. Like, it came to a head in Link's Awakening when there was an enemy that was damageable by spin attacks for some reason, but not anything else I had. That stuff's always weird. But at least in Zelda, you're, like, kind of solving the fight. But boom Like, you use a particular attack because it serves a particular purpose. Like, ah, oh, if I try to hookshot the thing, it'll do this, or I'll try to climb up here and do that. And, like, you're either in... In, in Zelda, you're, like, interacting with the environment during the boss fight, or you're, like, using specific items that are functionally different from each other. Like... There's a greater variety. It's like, here's my hookshot, here's my bow, here's my bombs, here's my weird flail or my spinny disc. Like, they're wildly divergent items, so figuring out which one to use on the boss fight can be interesting. But just having a gun that's four different colors is significantly less interesting. So having the boss fight be just switch to the right color and then keep shooting me like you already were doing it's just a, it's just a normal ass damage sponge like you'd find in a game like Destiny, but with the added fiddling of having to go eh, with little motion controls to like highlight the right weapon, and that's it. That's all they're adding. It's like that's not. You don't have to thoughtfully think about how like these different weapons do different things. Like what like uh, an arsenal of items in a Zelda game are a bunch of wildly divergent things that do different things and. These are all just beam weapons that all do the same thing in different flavors, which is significantly less interesting. So the combat in this game just didn't really ever go anywhere, and I kind of just wanted it to go away every time it popped up, which is why I was running past it as best as I could until they introduced enemies that would let you... that would lock the door, and then I had to fight those guys. Uh, and then, so the, 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 the boss fights being giant damage sponges were just kind of a really disappointing element of that idea. Like, switching to the fire gun, and then the ice gun, and then continuing to smash A a lot, is just not... engaging. I don't know. I want- I, I hope the... I hope the uh, later games either have better... Sh like, got gameplay or better boss- well, both, really. I hope they feel like better shooters while also... having better boss fights in them. Because, like, I'm gonna have to fight them one way or another. It's not why I'm there. I'm there to do the exploration stuff and the unlocking and that whole process. But like the boss fights are going to be there one way or another, so I, do, I hope they're they're better in the future. Seventy percent completion. It's lower than I thought. Overall, than I, it's lower than I thought I would get. But I don't really know. I I uh, I largely went to the spots that in the back of my head were like spots I wanted to go to, and like things that were. It's like ah, I couldn't get there before, but one day, uh, I couldn't remember a lot more of them really. 
But I don't know. Well, we did it. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. Sorry to not be, like, having the popular, super positive opinion. I do like it overall. I just think that it's pretty... It's got some flaws. Which you'd kind of expect, to some extent, from a shooter from 2002. Let alone the first attempt at making a 3D Metroid. Like, this is like the Ocarina of Time. Oh, that's a whole other can of worms, though. That's a whole other can of worms, because I think Ocarina of Time is a pretty flawed game, but it's supposed to be, like, fucking pristine and perfect, and it's in, it's it's horrible to criticize Ocarina of Time, but I think Ocarina of Time's not... not it just doesn't has an aged amazingly, because it was the first one. And I think this one kind of has some similar growing pains, so I'm hoping that they did really well with the future ones. And uh, I especially look forward to Metroid Prime 4, which probably plays fantastically on a Switch, especially since it can't ha have, uh, I guess it technically can have Joy-Con controls. Oh, maybe they'll make it, maybe they will have us do that. I guess I shouldn't hold my breath. What the fuck is that? Oh, right, this is Metroid, this is Metroid Prime Trilogy, I keep forgetting, so it's gonna show scenes from the other games. I keep forgetting about that, I'm like, I never saw this part! What the hell? <laughs> Like, how did I- did I miss a whole level? No, I just- I have just two- just two other games. That's what's going on. Well, see you guys next time. Uh, tomorrow we'll be playing whatever Patreon has chosen for me to play next. See you next time.